we're still in our file from the last video where we were controlling house lights. We want to take a look at something that has some moving lights already built into it. We'll move into our birthday show. Press the backup key. We're going to load show. We're going to pick birthday. I'm going to load that show. Exit out of here. We'll look at screen two that has all of our good information. We try to save the shows not with house light control turned on so that when you load the show file, you don't plunge the room into darkness. So if we turn on 102 down here, that's BC control. Looking overhead, I'll turn that on. We've turned out the house lights. Then I'll fade up the chandeliers, fade up the pots. I could turn on the flows if I was so inclined. So if we look at 16 through 30, we can see all of the other associated faders from this particular show. Right now, we're just gonna work with room look. We're gonna look at our layout view. In our layout view, we can see all of the X4Ss, the way they're positioned through the room. I can select one of these by clicking on it. It's got a little yellow box around it, and that tells me it's been selected. Looking at the control surface, I can press highlight, and we can see that light has now turned to white. That's highlights function, changes color, puts to full intensity. I can press the next key and we'll cycle through the fixtures in numerical order. If I clear that out and say I selected this group of fixtures, highlights still pressed, so it lights all four of them up. So as I cycle through them, once you get to the last fixture, it cycles back around to the first one. So if you only want to work with a certain group of fixtures, that's very useful. Note when you're done to turn off highlight so that next time you select something, you don't automatically turn it to white, which could happen in the middle of the show. Uh, oh, I press and held clear, but it's the same as pressing clear three times. So say the client says we want to change these fixtures to be blue. I can select them, all the pink ones, by pointing at them. I could do the same by pressing the fixture key and then typing their numbers. So again, to demonstrate, clear fixture 421 plus 423 plus 425, please. You can see the yellow box around them. If I press highlight, you would see that they were selected. Now I'm going to turn highlight off. You can define which mode you're in here. Uh, if you want to affect dimmer, you press the dimmer one, position, color, these tabs cycle you through that functionality. Then these yellow boxes below correspond to the encoder wheels. So if we wanted blue, I take red to zero, green to zero, blue all the way up, and then add some white to make it paler. Adding white always makes it look better on camera. Now we like this, we're gonna store it. So we'll go to executor 16 through 30, press the store key, and then we're gonna store on 120. It can be either the upper part or where it says empty, either way will work. So now if I clear out, I'm gonna go first of all to my layout view, clear that out. You can see we've gone back to the underlying pink color. We look at this sequence 120, I toggle it on. We look back at the layout and they've turned blue as I've recorded them.